test. She just didn't have it. The uh, the carb. I don't think the carb is big enough. So we're working on taking care of that. Now I I didn't show you this. I made a change. Uh, let me show you here. I'm with a different carburetor or a different muffler. It's still a Homelite Super XL Auto muffler. It is basically the most restricted muffler that Homelite, that the, the Homelite Super XL Auto had that I found. And that's the one I'm using. Um, the reason is just because I like that muffler. I like the way it sounds. I like the way it performs. Um, is it enough? I don't know. It might need some work. I mean, it still has the screen in there and everything. I did not touch anything inside. So we'll see. But for certain, the carburetor is not pulling enough fuel. So I'm getting ready to figure that out. I think the carburetor is just too small for it now that it's performing at this level. You know? Uh, I'm not surprised. I was kind of expecting it. I was. So it's not like it's a big surprise or anything. But yeah, I might need to make some modifications just to get the carburetor on and working. But we'll see. I can tell you right now, this is way different than what we're pulling off. So you're about to see here in a minute. So we're definitely gonna to have to make some sort of modification. Something. All right, so there's our carburetor we pulled off. Take a close look to the throat size. Here's the one I'm gonna put on. So there's a larger throat there. It's a bigger carb. And the one I want to put on doesn't have a governor circuit at all. It's older. But that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on and hopefully it works. But I'm going to have issues. My issues are going to be the jet jetting. Figuring out how to get that to work. And my idle screw is busted off. So, so, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'll figure it out. She was just not pulling right. Where this fits, this, both screws poke right out the hole, just they're at different spots. You know, I would have to have one on one end and the other clean over the other end because these are two are too close together. I would need it on opposite sides. I can figure something out there. This thing will bolt right in. I don't see any differences except in the length. Let's see how that works out. made the hole bigger. I gotta make another one. I didn't see this before. This hole on uh, the carburetor I just put in, it's on this side. So everything's moving wrong. I'll just have to pull this out and swap it around, I think. But I'll come back in a minute and take care of that. All right, so there's the carb swap. You can see down here, I had to redo the holes. And the jets are a little short, but they work. I'm just gonna take that center hole 
and fill it with some moto seal. Um, originally, the idle screw was right here. This carburetor had it busted off, and I didn't like having it there. I don't like having to take the air cover off to do the idles. So I put this in. This is just like, this is literally off of a Home Light Super XL Auto. This right here. Now this didn't make quite make contact, so I just kind of bent it. Um, I might not have enough adjustment, but I'm sure a little bit of bending tweaks and I could probably get it. Uh, I had to thread it, so it wasn't threaded from the factory. It just had this plastic plug in there. So I had to thread it out to make it work. Uh, both the choke arm here, that had to be changed out. I had to put the factory one in there and I had to change this whole arm out because of this piece here. On the factory one here, you can see where it hooks up in the front, but on the, the carburetor, the original one for this carburetor, it hooked up on the rear. So the linkage was off. Now I could have probably done some tweaking to the linkage and made it work, but I just switched the whole arm out. But there it is. That's an HS26A carburetor. Uh, the one that was in it is HS125. And it looks like it's double stamped. So I'm going to say 125 and the rest of it, I don't know. But that's what I did. This carburetor has a little bit bigger throat, so I'm hoping that helps tame this all down some. So as far as I understand it, with the smaller throat, it would cause velocity to be higher. And that's okay for down low, low RPM, but not high RPM because it's, it's, it's a restriction that you're not going to move enough. You know what I mean? It's it essentially a lean. So I'm hoping the slightly larger carburetor solves the issue. Um, it's one of those things, you know, pain in the butt. You, hope, you, you wish it would start up first time every time, right? But it's not like there's a ton of information on people doing this kind of work that he solves. So I'm kind of just figuring it out. But we'll see how she goes. That's it. She's ready to go again. Time for the second test. Have you ever seen a project like this come out the fir perfect the first time? Um, maybe if you built 10 of them or more, but I'm talking the very first one. It's just, you got tweaks to do. But I do want to add something. I'm probably going to do more port work. The little bit of running that I did I feel like I should go further. Um, for example, uh, Tin Man. Everybody knows Tin Man. The XL76 he built. I believe he said his exhaust around 97 degrees. Which, that's a hot saw. I'm not going to go that hot, but I can go hotter. I can already tell I can go hotter. So I think we will. Maybe not right away. We might wait a little while. I got a couple of projects that are kind of just waiting on me to get them going, but uh, we might go one step further. Uh, I'm thinking 99. 100 on the exhaust but we'll see 
We shall see. Alrighty. Later.